Hello friends, what's going on and I'm sure you are doing well and I will pray for your good health so that you can learn new things on Bitfumes channel with me Sarthak Shirvastu and now in this episode we are going to talk about two important function or method of eloquent magics which is take and chunk. So let's first talk about take. So here I am on the web.php file and let's create a route a get route for let's say uh, check I didn't get any good name and here let's give a function and here I will just going to create a new collection so a collection is just a, a level related thing so I will say collect and here I will provide some of the arrays so a is one and like that I have completed that series of the collection and what I'm going to do let's just return the collection simple thing so collection is here close the line and let's go to the browser I have started the server and I have logged in here and I will just go to a route which is check so sure enough we are getting all these collections that's good but what we want with this I want to get only two element which is starting two element so how we can do that so one thing I can do I can cut it from here and I will go to home controller so I will say home controller at check so let's open home controller home controller and here I will create a public function called check and this will going to return everything so let's just verify yeah same thing so now suppose I want to get only two things so eloquent provide a take method in which you just define how many element you want from the collection so if I will say two here and I will go to chrome and here refresh this you can see we only get two a and b and if I say four so we have till five we have the four result so that's good but you know we can also do one thing we can give negative values so it will start from the end so if I say minus 2 it will get D and E so let's see yeah D and E are here you can see we have this but let's now verify and how this take method is going to work so what I will do I will create a protected function called take this is our take method it's not of the eloquent take so this will get the collection so collection and let's call this one our take method so I will say take and provide the collection and let's just try to check it by returning the collection and yes we are getting everything so I want only two so how we can normally simulate these things how we can do all these things in a PHP way not the Laravel way so here I will use for each so for each of collection as item and let's just define index so index is going to be zero initially and here I will get another collection which is called let's say take which is going to have empty array so I will say take is going to get the item but this will get only the item if we will say if dollar index is less than 2 okay so then only we will provide this inside here and let's just increment this index plus plus and now I'm going to return take okay so this is good let's see we are only getting two so what we can do here let's say key as value so now I will pass here key and the value so this should do the trick so refresh and yes we are getting two and to make this a general approach so now I'm going to pass the limit so here if I say 2 and this should be 
less than to limit so again we are getting these two but if I say three we should get three results yeah so we have simulated this take method but you know this will work fine but uh, there is another way we can simply use instead of all these things we have one more thing which is called array underscore slice what it will do it will slice these things so we have to provide the collection and then we have to provide from where which index it will going to count so let's start from zero and up to which up to whatever the limit user will give so now I will do all these things as I commented return it let's see the result and now we are getting this error which says this array underscore slice expect array we are giving collection so again in laravel because it's a laravel magic series so laravel give you another cool part which is to convert this collection to an array so let's just use two array function this will do the trick and we get only three because we have given three here so all these things is now gone and everything is now on a single line which is very nice so we have simulated the take but if it is so simple why the take method is there you know take method can can only do this trick that means it will return the element from the last minus two that means d and e that's okay so let's see how we can do that with our take method so let's provide minus three okay it's not doing the trick it's only giving one and two why is that let's give three hmm abc but with minus three it's giving one and two so the problem here it's limit is limit is minus three and the problem we can solve here let's pass limit here so what we are doing actually if we if we try to give minus one so we are saying that okay start from index of minus one that means the last and we can get three so run it oops we are only getting one so what if I say here three directly no so what if I start from three that means start from last three so minus one is e minus two 2 is D minus 3 is C so we could expect C D and E so let's see okay C D and E this means this number is redundant so we can remove it yeah that's good but how we can make it general so what we can do and the sequence here you can see this one and this one is same okay but here this time if I change it to limit and this to also limit 3 that means giving 4 and 5 which is for D and E only we, we are getting 2 so how we can get that it is starting from 3 so 0 1 2 3 we have only two element that's why it's giving 2 so how we can change it so if I say minus 3 it's giving nothing so the problem is this one so what if I remove it and yeah we are getting that so here we just need to convert this to positive number so again so in PHP we have a function called ABS which just convert any negative number into positive number so minus 3 is now converted to 3 so refresh yes it's working and if it is 3 and here we want three we are only getting two so we are getting two okay that's because we only have five so e then f f is six so return three <laughs> that's good so what if i say only i want only two that's good two element if i say minus two from last two but you know again we have problem the two is giving from the index 2 that means c and d if the take method is given as a 2 it will give a and b hmm so we need to tweak it so it says if limit we have if limit is less than 0 
then yes you can do all these things which is here but if not then just make this as zero and because we have seen that okay we have tackled the negative one so we don't need to change it to positive so now this will going to work so if i say two yes we are getting a and b with our take method so in that way you can see that how much laravel has given the simplicity to you by doing all these things behind all behind this take method so we just need to remove it we just need to remove that we don't want that just use take method which will give you the same result but by the way behind the scene take method will do exactly the same thing but instead it uses slice method and behind the use of this slice method you can see it's again using array underscore slice which we have used so this is all about take method and we also have a chunk method which will just going to give you chunks of the element so if we say i want a chunk of two so it will say one and two then in a single element then c and d in a single element then e and f in a single element so refresh and yes you can see one and two in a single element two three and four or e and f whatever you call it <laughs> okay so how this is constructed so again you can see chunk method is again using array underscore chunk which is core php but instead of doing all these things all the checks you can simply use this chunk method which will give you chunks of the element from the array how this is going to be useful suppose you are going to show the names and in bootstrap you are doing three uh, sections so three columns you have so you want chunks of three so you can just use chunks of three like this and you will get two array and you just loop through these two array and just have one row with three column and one, another row with three column so this is super useful and obviously take method you know take method is useful when you just want only first five or first 10 or whatever it is the number so this is all about take the chunk and if you have liked this episode please share these videos with your developer friends and like bitfilms on facebook twitter instagram don't forget to subscribe and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye